Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another very late night boring episode. Um, I have some paint left from my last pour, Joy to the Planet. That one was really fun and we used this beautiful New Planet inspired color palette with also inspired by Nate Bright Art but a lot of the purples and pinks and uh, a lot of really pretty stuff and I loved how that piece came out and I have some paint left so I've refreshed it and we're going to go again except tonight we're going to be doing a Wanderlust instead of a flip cup. So this is a 20 by 22 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have taped and pinned the back and put my push pins in and painted my sides and edges. See, there's a push pin now. <laughs> Let me show you my colors real quick. Some of this is kind of blended up. I've actually been having a lot of fun lately mixing up my leftovers. For example, this one started out as Amsterdam Rose, Quinacridone Rose, and then I had added a bunch of pearl to it for the last pour. And in this one, I had some of that iridescent orange yellow left and I stuck that in there and then I stuck some other magenta in there. And now it's kind of back to Quinacridone Rose again. But it was a lot of fun, that mad, <laughs> mad scientist moment there. It was cool, it was fun. So I encourage you to play with your colors and mix up your colors, mix up your leftovers, see what you end up with. And you can always influence it. Add a little bit of white, add a little bit of black, add a little bit of red, see what happens. So. This one is my darling, my permanent violet dark from Golden that I absolutely love. Probably my favorite actual color in the world. Love this. Then I also have my indigo that I've made again. This is the Prussian blue with a little bit of black in it. This one has a little more black in it because it's kind of dark. That looks darker than usual. Yeah. So this one, last time it was a little lighter, this time it's a little darker. But that's the fun of mixing your own colors. This is that Quinacridone rose mishmash but let's go with Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose because that's what it actually started out as. This one was pearl white with a little bit of the Quinacridone Rose in it to give it that little bit of hint of pink which I think is really pretty especially next to that one is gorgeous so then they have another mishmash here this was the leftovers of my copper and my gold combined and then what did I put in there a little bit of this treasure gold and fire opal so like I said I've been having fun mixing stuff up this is gorgeous though it's very very pretty and I think it's gonna work beautifully with this palette and then we also have some Amsterdam pearl white so let's get started and layer a couple of cups we need about 16 ounces of paint for that these are nine ounce cups so we're gonna layer a couple cups and then we're gonna do a wanderlust but I think I'm gonna try something a little bit different a little variation on there so for the Wanderlust, I like to start with kind of a thicker layer of the Prussian the indigo color at the bottom. Just yeah. because when the cup ends then, then you end up with that nice dark space. And we're also going to put a thicker layer on the very top as well. You put okay. Closer in there. Okay. okay. And we're going to put a little bit of this permanent violet dark on there. little bit of that light pink, the baby pink. I guess that's what that color would be called, right? And then a little bit of the Quinacridone Rose. There's the Fire Opal. That's going to be interesting when it mixes up. And I want to put some of this on the other side of the Fire Opal. And then we're going to go back to the pearl. And we're going to go back to a little bit more of that fire opal coppery gold color because that's the only metallic I'm actually using here. And we're going to do indigo again. We could actually stop there, but I think I would like one more layer of at least a couple of lighter colors in there, so we're just going to do small layers, and then we'll put one more of the indigo on top. Okay, and now one layer of indigo. Okay. So, what I want to do that's a little different this time, instead of pouring this in the very, very center, I kind of had this idea of pouring it along the edge and actually 
keeping the fingerlings on one side. So and I have to show you what I'm talking about because I don't know if I can explain it very well. All right, so yeah, we're gonna start kind of over here HOA and we're gonna go this way. All right, so the plan is, you know, it comes out of the cup and you have fingerlings on both sides. I wanna get just the ombre edge and the fingerlings and actually one side of the fingerlings off the canvas. So we might lose some of this paint, but that's okay. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Ready? I last that I am. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. This is an experiment, so we'll see how it goes. I may just end up pouring it like this, and then we'll tilt it. That's really pretty. I love that permanent violet dark with that coppery gold. And there's the indigo at the bottom of the cup. That looks cool. Wow. Okay. All right. That's pretty good move this over just a little bit because I don't want any to fall out or continue to fall off of the edge. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to put a little bit of that indigo on this edge. Okay. I'll pour it into that. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. You go. I can hear him snoring through the wall. too much because I feel like it's pushing it up. I'm just going to push this all this way. Okay. So now again, I'm going to go around this edge with the indigo again because I want that to stay on the canvas. And then we'll put our regular flow extender down. So by putting the indigo in first and last, we end up with that negative space built in. I think it's pretty cool. I have this color that's whoops. That again was a a mishmash <laughs> of a whole bunch of different colors. It's really fun. I encourage you guys to mix things up and get crazy with your, you know, your drips doesn't matter anyway because most of the time this doesn't stay on the canvas anyhow. So, all right, we're going to pour this around here and on the corners. out a little bit. So let's see where the weight of the paint is. Okay, mostly in the center. So I actually want to take this down because I want to stretch out this edge and anchor this over this side and see how that goes. So I'm actually start this way. And we're just gonna walk it down nice and slow. I'm gonna go down to that corner and then we're just gonna let this slide off just like that. And bring this back. And walk it down again. section is really neat. I'm going to 
taking this edge down now. the distortion that can happen yeah. when you do it in the center and you go all the different ways. Yeah. That's what we Thank you. Okay, we're going to take our indigo over here and cover up this edge. What do I like and what do I not like? I love the indigo with that bronzy gold. That's really, really pretty on the edges and the corners. And I'm really liking the pink, like in here. It's really glowing and beautiful. And I'm really actually happy that some of that orange through here and I see it in through there. It's really neat. Maybe that's the one of that that lighter baby pink had some of the pearl yellow in it from last time, remember? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what's causing that. But it's kind of cool looking. I'm digging on it. Do we like this top section or should I try to take it down a little more and compress it? We can. I don't know if it's moving still. Yeah, a little bit. crazy about it is it seems that the line is kind of right through the middle. Does that bother me? Is it cool? Is it bothering you? What do you think? It doesn't bother me at all. Should I try to move it a little bit or shift it? Um, it seems like if it went toward you, then you would open up the... The problem is, is I like this and I like this. <laughs> That's okay. I think we're pretty good, actually. I might take it back down to where it was a little bit more. Just go this way a bit. For some reason, I'm picking up chrysanthemums or something. Really? Interesting. At this point, we're just adjusting composition. That's kind of neat now. I like that better. 
kind of giving me a wave almost. Okay. There's a lot of good movement and flow this way and this way. These lines in here, the striations are giving us a lot of movement. I love the colors. <laughs> this is really neat. So over here we see the indigo with a lot of that goldy bronze or goldy copper on it. Really, really pretty. Kind of gasoline iridescent. Very cool. fire of one with the copper that's why we're getting a lot more orangey okay so this is cool um show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. This is pretty awesome. I love these like little pebbly cells and the bouldery cells in here and that pink is like popping which is really cool. So this was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. I guess I should turn it around so that you can see it as if this is the top. Can you see it this way? 